Yo, what is going on guys? Thanks for watching the video. My name is OV and I'm a Coast Salish graphic artist originally from Seabird Island, British Columbia. And today I want to show you one of the base, basic techniques that I use in Adobe Photoshop. I've been doing graphic art for about six years now and when I first started out I spent a lot of time on YouTube watching basic tutorials, Photoshop, Illustrator, and I always thought it'd be cool to see another indigenous artist putting out content to learn from. So I really want to thank the Create to Learn program for giving me an opportunity to do something like this. I think it's really cool and I'm just happy to be a part of it. So today I'm going to show you one of the techniques that I use and this is about mirroring an image, creating uh, a symmetrical design. And if you follow my work, you'll notice uh, I do that often in a lot of my designs. It's, you'll, you'll notice that I have a lot of balance and a lot of symmetry in my designs. So we're gonna be doing that. And as you can see here, this is a Coast Salish Hummingbird design that I did recently. And I already drew it out added some editing to it, a little bit of shadowing, and a drop shadow effect. And I want to add on to this. So my next step is creating some guidelines. And in Photoshop, what you want to do is go to View, make sure Rulers is checked, Snap is checked, and Snap to Guides. Because when you pull that ruler over here from the left, it's going to snap right into place in the center of the page. And I'm going to pull another one down so we'll know where the exact center is. Okay, what I want to do next is I want to select the hummingbird. And this is on PC, by the way. I'm going to press Control-T to select it. And when I rotate it, I'm going to hold down the Shift button. And we're going to move it a bit vertically. And I'm going to place it just to the left here a bit. Hit Enter. And I want to create a duplicate, a copy of this bird. So by doing a shortcut to that, what you want to do is hold down Control J. And when you press that, there's another hummingbird sitting on top of it. My next step from here is I'm going to select that bird by pressing Control T. And then right clicking on the mouse. When you right click on the mouse, you flip it horizontal. And there's the mirror of the bird. All I have to do is place it over to the right. And I'll place it about right there. Hit enter. And there you go. That's, uh, that's looking pretty slick already. I'm happy with that. And I think from here I want to add on to that. So I'm going to add a layer underneath it. And using the ellipse tool right here. I'm going to place a sphere, a circle, right underneath. And Control T to select that. Holding the Alt key, I'm going to scale it to a larger size. And then I just want to add some color to this. Um, I see a light blue already pre-selected, so I'm going to see what that looks like. Take away that outline. That's looking pretty clean. I'm happy with that. Move that up a bit. And I think from here, I would probably play around with the colors, some gradients or something like that. I think I'll do another tutorial on creating gradients. And yeah, this is kind of how I started my image. And this is the final design. I really like how this turned out. It's really clean. It's minimal. I'm feeling it. And yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching. Uh, that's one of the basic techniques that I use on Photoshop, and I use it quite often, actually. So uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another tutorial. Much love. Peace out. Peace.